Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Ascent assessment. Today I am going to share some important cloud computing questions which will be very much helpful for you because these questions are repeatedly asked and this can be asked or almost same question will be asked in your exam. Okay, So today I will cover three chapters those are mainly most asked chapters ok so let's discuss one by one so at first let's start uh, going through some important tips and tricks so uh, these are the three chapters that is cloud data centers cloud service providers and cloud service platforms ok so let me take the pen so uh, these three chapters are mainly very much important and from these you will get uh, almost uh, six to seven questions okay so you have to know the cloud data centers you have to know about cloud service providers like which company provides which cloud model okay so which company provides this uh, which company provides this and their offerings and like uh, gmail is ias or pass or SaaS. so this way the questions can be asked okay so cloud service providers is important and also be also focus on cloud service platforms and what uh, they are used for like uh, aws ec2 azure virtual machines what they are used for okay so uh, you have to know this because after knowing you can also you can answer smoothly okay so uh, also uh, you have to know a uh, difference between types of services platforms or providers okay and uh, mnemonics of uh, mnemonics for service models like uh SaaS, pass ias and there is another cloud service model that is fast f a a s okay so please give uh, the mnemonics for fast so uh, i hope you will uh, give the answer in the comment section and please engage in the comment section so that it seems like uh, a productive learning session okay so let's go to the next uh, thing that is know the key matrices and sls that is service level at agreements okay and uh, also uh, oh this is the most important part that is real world scenarios okay so in cognizant also and also in uh accenture also there will be some scenarios and you have to answer accordingly like uh, uh, for a banking system you will be provided an example of banking system or college system or hospital system you will be asked in this scenario what service model what cloud service model will be used if uh, here private or public or hybrid uh, ser cloud service model will be used so this way the questions can be asked okay so this is very important also they these are not uh, ignorable okay so let's go to the next part that is uh, identify common patterns in questions obviously know the terms like scalability flexibility redundancy okay and virtualization these are very important and you must go through the uh, terminologies like virtualization scalability flexibility okay so i hope you will do so so let's start with the first question so that it could be more easier to understand and one thing to tell you that i have already uploaded a video regarding real world scenarios here i have uh, mentioned every scenarios with examples so if you have not gone through the playlist regarding accenture cloud network uh, cloud and networking security based questions so please watch that playlist so that this video will be complimentary okay so first question is this which of the following is not a characteristics of cloud data centers scalability flexibility or centralized physical location or on demand resource provisioning so i hope uh, you can answer the question if not then please wait i am discussing okay so in this case the correct answer will be option c why because cloud data centers are distributed across multiple locations to ensure redundancy and minimize the risk of data loss okay so the correct answer will be option c okay so this is not a characteristics of cloud data centers okay so the next question is what is the primary advantage of using IaaS platform from a cloud service provider complete control over the physical hardware managed networking and storage services access to a pre-configured platform for de development reduced capital expenditure 
on IT infrastructure. So what will be the correct answer? Okay, so let me discuss without any delay. So in this case, option D will be the correct answer. Why? Because IAAS provides virtualized computing resources over the internet, allowing businesses to avoid the high cost of buying and maintaining physical hardware. Okay, so that's why uh, this will be the correct answer. Okay, uh, and this is the primary advantage of using IAAS from a cloud service provider okay so the next question is uh, actually i have discussed these questions like uh, in depth in the previous videos so please access the playlist of cloud and network based questions okay and uh, before i show you the next questions with answers i would recommend you to have the prime materials of any company that you want in which i have included all the technical questions all the mock tests all the previous and recent questions with answers and also the coding questions so to get that knock me at my id instagram.com slash techno.ef or you can say hi at our telegram channel t.me slash uh, this is paid but very affordable okay so i hope you will do so so the question is which cloud service model is most suitable for developers who want to deploy applications without managing the underlying infrastructure SaaS, pass iaas or dras so in this case option b will be the correct answer okay so why pass because pass allows developers to build deploy and manage applications without worrying about the infrastructure which is managed by the provider okay so that's why option b will be the correct answer so the next question is what is the function of an availability zone in a cloud data center so the next question will be a quiz question so just wait what is the function of an availability zone in a cloud data center? So it stores backup data in the event of data loss. It provides an isolated location within a region for running resources. It manages network traffic for high speed uh, data transfer. It enables scaling of resources automatically. So what will be the function of an availability zone in a cloud data center? So in this case, the correct answer will be option B availability zones are isolated locations within a region that provide high availability by ensuring resources are replicated across multiple zones right that's why this uh, option b will be the correct answer okay so the next question is this so this is a quiz question for you which cloud provider service is used to manage distributed applications with minimal management effort? AWS Lambda, Google Cloud Compute Engine, Azure Blob Storage, IBM Cloud Kubernetes. And uh, most of the questions are asked already and most of the questions were asked repeatedly. Okay, so I'm not joking. So these, uh, please take it seriously. Okay. And actually, uh, I'm not going to answer this question. Please answer. This is a quiz question. So let me see how much of you are attentively watching so this is the next uh, second quick question the first was regarding fast and second one is regarding cloud provider service uh, okay so i hope you will give the answer so the next question is this which cloud platform service is best suited for data storage that needs to be accessed frequently and quickly so in this case the correct answer will be option c okay azure blob storage hot tier so azure blob storage hot tier is designed for data that is accessed frequently and requires low latency access okay so that's why this will be the correct answer and next uh, what is the purpose of a content delivery network cdn in a cloud environment to enhance security by encrypting data transmissions to cache content closer to users for faster access to manage database replications across data centers or to reduce the cost of data storage what will be the correct answer okay so actually i have discussed about uh, cdn virtualization scalability and also uh, elasticity and all so please go through the playlist okay so i have discussed about theory so that uh, you can understand better okay so please watch through the playlist okay so in this case the correct answer will be option b okay why because a cdn catches content in various locations worldwide reducing latency and improving load times for users accessing the content okay so that's why uh, the option b will be the correct answer okay 
so the next question is which cloud service provider offers the elastic beanstalk service microsoft azure google cloud ibm cloud or amazon web services what will be the correct answer okay so let me uh, let me answer the correct answer will be option d okay sorry option d will be the correct answer that is aws i have told you little earlier that uh, this type of questions will be asked like uh, this okay so amazon web service uh, aws elastic beanstalk is a past service that allows quick deployment and all the features are uh, regarding this okay so which cloud provider offers the this so this is the correct answer okay amazon web service okay so the next question is so actually you have to gauge the pattern which uh how, which type of questions are being asked okay so amazon web service provides this okay offers this okay so what ibm cloud offers what google cloud offers what microsoft azure offers you have to know these so that you can answer okay so you have to and you have to know the pattern and you have to go through these uh, related questions as well so that you can get a common questions in your exam okay so the next question is what is the key benefit of using a hybrid cloud architecture improved data uh, sovereignty exclusive use of on-premises resources unlimited scalability or cost savings by utilizing both private and public clouds so in this case the correct answer will be option d okay why because a hybrid cloud allows organization to use a mix of on-premises private and public cloud resources okay so this optimize the cost also the flexibility okay so that's why the hybrid cloud is the benefit okay uh, in this case okay so the next question is uh in which situation would a uh, cloud service platforms auto scaling feature be most beneficial so this will be also a quiz question for you please answer this okay uh okay so this is a quiz question so please give the answer in the comment section i'll give you a heart if you are answering all the ans uh, if you are answering all the answers in a single comment okay okay so the next question is regarding which service is responsible for managing dns request in cloud environments aws root 53 google bigquery azure skill uh, database ibm watson okay so without any delay let me just answer so in this case option uh, a will be the correct answer okay aws root 53 because aws root 53 is a scalable dns web service designed to root end user request okay so that uh, it can uh, appropriate the resources okay so i hope you understood the the next question is which of the following is a major benefit of using cloud-based virtual machines vms so physical server management fixed scalability limits or high availability and redundancy or manual software installation so uh, actually this was uh, this was not asked in exam still this was related to uh, that this this chapter so i have uh, mentioned this okay so actually the answer in this case will be option c high availability and redundancy so uh, why because cloud based vms offer high availability by running on multiple servers okay that ensures that even if one server fails then other will keep running okay uh, other other will keep the vm running so that's why uh, the option c will be the correct answer okay so the next question is which cloud service platform provides a managed kubernetes service for containerized applications AWS EC2, Google uh, Kubernetes Engine, or Azure Cosmos DB, or IBM Cloud Functions. Okay, so the correct answer in this case will be option D. Okay, Google Kubernetes Engine. Okay, because uh, okay, let me just uh, avoid explaining. Uh, so the correct answer will be option B. Okay, so the next question is what does the term serverless refer to in cloud computing? running applications without the need for physical servers cloud platforms managing the servers for application execution virtual machines without an operating system or infrastructure managed by the client so option uh, in this case option 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 b will be the correct answer okay cloud platforms managing the servers for application execution so this is the meaning of serverless in cloud computing okay 
so uh, this is the quiz question that is which cloud service provider is known for its extensive ai and machine learning service and i think this question is coming again in any of the slot 100 percent okay this is a very important questions uh, because uh, this is the era of ai and ai related questions are going to come okay so what will be the correct answer amazon web services google cloud platform microsoft azure oracle cloud so please think a little pause the video then give the answer okay no hurry please give the answer okay so i hope you will give the answer so let's go to the next question that is which component of a cloud data center is primarily responsible for google uh, for cooling the infrastructure power distribute in units uninter uninterruptible power supply or hvsc system or server racks so actually this question is <laughs> related to electrical electronics and all okay i mean computer science as well so all of you please answer uh, so in this case the correct answer will be option c hvsc systems okay because heating ventilation and air condition systems are essential for maintaining the temperature and air flow within the data center to prevent overheating and uh, and uh, and actually overheating okay so that's why the correct answer will be option c okay hvsc systems the next question is what is the role of an api gateway in cloud service platforms this is the last question of today's session so please please give the answer before i give answer okay what is the role of an api gateway in cloud service platforms to encrypt data at rest to manage and route api requests from users to store backup data to optimize virtual machine platform uh, performance so what will be the correct answer okay so without any delay let me answer option b will be the correct answer okay so i hope uh, this much of discussion is enough for today's session uh, so i hope uh, you will give response uh, to those questions which i have left for you and uh, again i would recommend you to have the prime materials of accenture uh, in which i have included all the questions regarding your preparation and you can join our telegram channel t.me slash cbkanna uh, where we will discuss all the questions and all the updates regarding corporates okay and also you can follow our tele uh, instagram account instagram.com slash so that you can get the latest updates okay so thank you for today's session